And welcome back to another Kraken packs video. Not really packs per se, but we are cracking open a Demir guild kit today. So I'm cracking into these because I want to get these pins. Look at this. Look at those pins right there. There they are. I'm going to collect them all and I'm going to do something fancy with them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I'll probably end up putting them on a bag or a hat or something like that. Um, not something that I necessarily wear around, but something that I have, just for me, because it's something that I enjoy. So, we've got this little bad boy right here, like so. You, of course, get your deck box, which can fit sleeved cards, which is nice. It's a nice size, too, like if you look, if we can get it together here. So, you can see how wide it is. It's pretty good. It's definitely uh, better than some of those other deck boxes you used to get in the fat packs and stuff, which only really fit cards without sleeves. So this actually fits a whole 60 card deck sleeved, which is pretty nice. Um, now, no sideboard or anything like that by, by the sounds of things, but still. Uh, maybe you could fit the sideboard in here? I don't know. I haven't tried yet. Um, and then, of course, you get your nice big sticker, which I don't know what I'm going to do with yet. Um, I have all those stickers so far. Um, so... We'll figure out what we want to do with that. Ooh, look at this guy. I remember this guy. He's um he's a big player from Return to Ravnica. Oh, this is this one, isn't it? I don't know how you do this. Instructions for new Demir agents. This is like, you have to go to some website to like, what does it say? Oh, it's friggin' backwards. It's in a mirror. If you are reading this and are not a Demir agent, the spell woven into these words will take effect soon. You will have no memory of having discovered our or read this document the house demir is not responsible for any further loss of memory or motor function <laughs> that's funny so like i don't i i can't remember what you have to but like it's like a it requires a, a key essentially Oh, I see. You have to fold it. See, so you have to get this to match to here. I don't know if we can do that. I don't know how this... Let's see. Because it essentially means that you fold it kind of like... Like this. See, and it makes the symbol. There you go. But I don't know how you decode this. I'm assuming there's a decoder or something that you're supposed to use... To, like, fill in the blanks, I guess. Because it says, always blank, absolutely never blank. But I don't know what the... Like, is there actually a decoder somewhere that you're supposed to use? I don't know. There's something. Anyway, there you go. So it's, like, it's kind of a cool little, like, piece of flavor with some, like, spy-type stuff in it, which is what the House Demir is all about, right? They're about infiltration and all that good stuff, right? So there you go. So let's see. Again, another curled card right out of the box. So there you go. Nice little sproingy sproing. You got your die, of course, which is nice. Got the little guild symbol on there. There it is. And of course, you've got your pin. Mm, the nice metal pin. Very nice, very nice. And then you've got your deck. So let's see. What's in this deck? 
again, many of you may have seen this already. Maybe you already know what's in it. Maybe you've watched people, other people open it and talk about improving it and stuff like that. But you know what? I haven't seen those videos and I haven't watched or looked at any of the product that's in these. So all of this is pretty much new to me. So I have no idea what, what to expect out of these. So we've got a blood operative. Which is one of the new cards from guilds. And you've got a Demir Doppelganger, which is from uh, Return to Ravnica, I want to say. We can actually see here. Let's see. Demir Doppelganger. Ravnica City of Guilds. It's the original Ravnica. Oh, Night Vale Spectre. This is from Gate Crash. Very good card. This card was very good in like mono blue, mono black. Um, I think in the mono black deck during this set, they played this card quite a bit. You've got uh, Sirku, Demir Lobotomist. Oh, you've got the original Lazav. Not the new Lazav, the original Lazav. Ah, oh, Consuming Aberration. I actually need this guy for a deck that I'm currently building. Mirko Vosk, Mind Drinker. Sazdek, Lord of Secrets. Mirko Vosk was the guy that's on here, too. See, there he is. Mission Briefing. Oh, Glimpse the Unthinkable's in here. Wow, this card was... That card was worth quite a bit of money before it got reprinted. And Stolen Identity. Oh, cool. Oh, that's super neat. The, sto the Stolen Identity tokens are pretty neat. Like, that art is pretty cool. I, I like the fact that they also put, like, it's blank blank. So it's like... You know, I don't think you're supposed to write on it specifically but like it's really cool that they have like this this is a token of that what's that thing right that's really cool and then of course on the back you've got your horror tokens your one one flying horror tokens which i'm assuming means that we probably have the sorcery or whatever the cipher sorcery that lets you make them We got Barrier Bones, Wall of Mist, Demir Guild Mage, two of those. We got Moroi, Moroi or whatever, however you pronounce that nonsense. Night Vale Predator, solid Demir card from Gate uh, Guilds. We got Netherborn Phalanx. Now this is a card that I don't think I've ever seen before, or at least not with this art on it. Where, where is this from? This is a creature, right? Netherborn Phalanx. This is from Ravnica City of Guilds. Now, see, I didn't play a lot back then, so that's why I don't recognize that. Dinrova Horror, of course, from uh, Return to Ravnica or Gate Crash. I can't remember which one it was. You've got your Demir Aqueducts, which are your nice bounce lands. Your Demir Guild Gates. Oh, man, look at the art on these. This is phenomenal. And they, they just released the art for the next set too right and they look amazing as well the art the the lands are well worth it out of these boxes like if you're gonna pick up these guild kits you might as well like the the art is just amazing on like the fact that they've edited the border on the bottom as well is phenomenal it just adds that little bit of extra to the lands that make them a little bit more unique and interesting and not just your regular basic lands right we've got demir signets these are worth a couple bucks, probably. I don't know what, what the value is out of these kits, but those are normally worth about a dollar or so. Disdainful Stroke, Unexplained Disappearance, Telling Time, Last Gasp. Wow, there you go. Uh, Demir Charm, Warped Physique, Mythic Vapors, Notion Rain, Price of Fame. Here it is. Call of the Nightwing. This is the thing. That creates a 1-1 one, one blue and black horror creature token with flying, and then you can cipher it. So, like, this was a cool card, because essentially, you cast it, make a 1-1, one, one, cipher it either onto the 1-1 one, one or some other sort of creature that you know you're going to get to attack with a bunch. And it when you whenever you attack, you can basically... It's like it's whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may cast it again. So you put it on, like, an unblockable guy, and then you just get in, and you just start pooping out little 1-1s one, every turn. 
It's a pretty mean card. I remember playing with it a bunch in uh, the Ra Return to Ravnica block. Ribbons of Night. This is sorcery. Four damage target creature. You gain four life if blue is spent. Draw a card. Okay. Ah, Syncopate. Good old Syncopate. And we got a Discovery and Dispersal. It's interesting to me that they that they use so like they used uh the old art from Ravnica for this because Syncopate was reprinted in one of the most recent standard sets as well. Was it Dominaria that that they printed it in or Core? I can't remember which one it was, but it's one of them. Um, they all kind of meld together, to be honest. Um, but Syncopate, I like the fact that they use the old Ravnica, like the Return to Ravnica art, because then it kind of like matches with the rest. Like it's quite similar to the rest of the aesthetic, right? As opposed to the new Syncopate, which was very like, I think it was Dominaria, because I think it was Teferi, wasn't it? That was on there. I think so. I can't remember. Anyway, not a bad little deck. How many rares did we end up with? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve. So twelve rares. Now here's here's an interesting thing is we got twelve rares, right? And we talked about this before. Is like the Selesnia deck had two mythics in it. This deck only had one, right? The Boros one had only one as well, but it was the it was the like the foil lord essentially or leader of the guild that was the mythic this is not a mythic it's just a rare right um and so it's kind of interesting that you know like not only did the selesnia kit have uh you know a card that was worth about 20 dollars in it right but it also had double mythic two mythics in it so like what happened why did we why did we put two mythics in the Selesnya one, did we think it wasn't going to... Its power needed a bit of a boost over the others? I don't know. It's an interesting question to ask. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of unboxing and discussion of the Demir Guild Kit. Um, if you couldn't get your hands on these, uh, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. Uh, you should definitely check online and check with your local game store, see if they can get them in still. I know that my my local game store was able to order these in for me from their distributors, so they still have them. Um, now, I got it like three or four weeks ago, but like, uh, you know, we're still, we're getting there, right? So anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. And as always, may your pulls ever be better.